guys, welcome back to AGT, Olivia here, and today I am at YouTube Space LA, and as promised, I'm filming another Q&A for you guys, so let's get into it. Okay, so the first question is, what's your sign and where are you from? Well, I am a Pisces, so go fish, and I am a Midwestern girl, and I'm pretty sure I answered that in my last Q&A. Um, next question. If you had a billion dollars, what would you do with it? So that's a lot of money, but I would give quite a bit of money to both my parents just for everything that they have done for me and given me. So I would just like to give back to them. And then I would pick some different charities, um, maybe like an autism charity, cancer, like children. And then I would go find a ton of underprivileged children and buy them lots of toys and things that whatever they wanted. And then lastly, I'd buy myself a pony and ride away into the sunset. Okay, next question. Do people recognize you from YouTube in your everyday life? It has happened, not like a ton, but it happened to me at the mall. Just a couple people came up to me and asked me if I was Olivia Jensen and so and so, nothing creepy. And it's also happened just like walking down the street, but you know, nothing crazy. Let's see. When do we get to see you in a bikini? You guys are like the best comedians in the world. <laughs> no, but seriously, uh, I don't know. Stay tuned. Next question. What do you like in a man? What do you value? Um, I definitely like someone who has a good sense of humor and they're not afraid to laugh at themselves because I laugh at myself and I just need that in a companion. Um, I also like someone who is sensitive because being a Pisces, I'm super sensitive and it can get bad sometimes. So, you know, I could just cry for no reason and I need you to hold me and just someone who's going to love me and make me smile and that's all I need. And you have to be family oriented because family is super important to me. Okay. Have you always been this confident about your curves and being a voluptuous woman? No. Um, and to be honest, I'm really not that confident now. I think maybe just because I'm the one in front of the camera that may make me look super confident, but um, no, I'm not. It's definitely hard some days, you know, with like jeans. Finding jeans to fit is like, forget about it. Um, so no, definitely not always that confident. Okay. Each man says I love you, of course, and they're crazy about your body. But the question is, how do you know that he loves you for you and not just your body? Um, an experience in my life that showed he loved me for me and not my body would be, and I'll just give you this tip for your next date. So when it's time to leave and she's going to her car and you're walking her and you like wanna like grab her butt and maybe kiss her on the cheek, don't do that. Just put your hand out and say, put her there, pal. And I promise you, you'll go far. Okay, next one. Do you plan on doing more vlogs or videos on your own channel? Yes, hopefully. I always forget because most of the time when I'm like, oh, I should do a vlog, I'm driving. And from experience, that was kind of dangerous, possibly illegal, I don't know. But I will definitely try to remember to film some more of those for you guys. Next, what is your hobby? Um, I don't really have that much time for a hobby right now just because school, work, you know, life. Um, I My hobby used to be dancing in bar classes. That I, I feel like that's like working out. I don't know, can you relate those two? Hobby, um, shopping, or I really love walking my dogs. So those are things I like to do. I don't know if you consider those hobbies or not. Hmm, okay, next. Who inspired you when you were growing up? Um, so that's kind of a hard one, but I had a, quite a few people inspire me growing up. One that sticks out, I'd have to say, would be my older sister. 
Um, she was always there for me. She was like a second mom. She had to grow up so fast. I am one of eight, so, you know, she's the oldest, so she had to just get right in there. I'm sure she hated me when I was little, but she did everything for me, and she was just like, I don't know, always someone that I was like, I want to be like her when I grow up. So, love you. Okay, next. Is it tiring to be objectified by strangers? Yes. Um, I know it's supposed to be flattering when people are like oogling over you, but sometimes it's just like, whoa, pump the brakes. Like, just talk to me like we're cool. Um, just some things people say is pretty disrespectful. And I don't know, sometimes I'd rather hear like, hey, your eyes are pretty, instead of, hey girl, you got a huge butt. So, um, think about that. Next, how is the AGT guy like? Does he do this full time? Um, he's pretty awesome. We, neither of us do this full time, which is why we can't upload videos all the time for you guys, or as much as we'd like to. Um, he has a job, I have a job in school, so that gets in the way. But he's really nice. Um, sometimes we get in little like spats because he's like, hey, you should wear these booty shorts. And I'm like, hey, you should shove those up your butt. So, but other than that, we're pretty cool. I really love him. We get along great and it's a good dynamic. All right guys, well that is all of the questions. Thank you so much for sending those in and I'm glad I could answer them for you. Um, thank you so much for watching AGT and don't forget to click that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.